Hey, it's Tom Arvathnot. We've just finished EvolveConf in the UK. Last session has been done. Tony, you've just done your last session. I did. Um, so, how have you found the day? You've had two sessions this uh, today as well. Did two sessions. Did a session this morning using PowerShell to hack your way through teams and groups, which is kind of interesting because I ran straight into an Office 365 bug. I was uh, introduced last night. So that was a perfect example of how the cloud is ever evolving, right? Yeah, ever green and ever painful. So, yeah, so, but I, uh, I managed to make contact with the dev group behind the scenes, and we'll get that bug taken care of. Nice. So that was nice. And then I've just finished a session talking about Teams and email and, uh, you know, debunking some of the stuff that you hear out there that uh, email is going to go away and we'll all be teaming our way to happiness. Well, and that was one of the things that was, I saw was well attended, like, because it's an interesting topic. Whenever the new thing comes out, people always think it's going to 100% replace the, the thing it displaced, and that's really not the case, is it? Yeah, well, it's very, very difficult to see how uh, teams will dislodge email, given that email is ubiquitous and it's been around for 50 years and... Uh, you know, even people who use uh, chat applications like Teams and Slack, you know, what do they e log in with? They log in with their email address. Yeah. You ever think about that? That's kind of like <laughs> a certain, certain poignant uh, thing there. But anyway, so we talked about it. I mean, Teams are, obviously is a great application for internal communication. It's a great way of getting people to work together on common goals, common aims. Um, I think the migration from Skype for Business Online is going well. Uh, even though it's probably possibly not going as well as Microsoft would have you have you think, but it's still going well. And there's no doubt that Microsoft's putting a great deal of engineering investment and engineering talent into developing new things for, for teams. And actually, uh, most importantly, to um, leverage the entire breadth of Office 365, which is a thing I think people really don't understand. You know, Teams is not just about the messaging. I think it's much more about the integration with SharePoint, the integration with OneDrive, the integration with the, the back end uh, that makes compliance possible. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's where the real... And, of course, Stream now is coming online to with things like uh, meeting recordings and whatever. So I think that's much more important, and that's what people actually miss sometimes. Yeah, we're definitely seeing that in customers. Is like because they're using Teams, files end up in SharePoint. Like, yeah. Like... Modality is an internal use case, like we use SharePoint but it was just a giant mess, but now because you're forced to through teams, the, the files end up in the right place. I don't think, I, I wouldn't think about it like force, I think about it, the, the great thing that Teams has brought to SharePoint is simplicity. You know, when you think about it, the old SharePoint web interface is not intuitive for people who don't think about document yeah. management, whereas the fact that Teams just makes it so easy to store stuff and it goes into files, and by the way, files are SharePoint, but who cares? Yeah, that's a better way to put it, actually. It just, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I've, I've said this uh, a lot of times. I think that in this world there are two types of people that actually deal with SharePoint. The, the people who know SharePoint and have built their careers around SharePoint, the people that don't care about SharePoint, that use SharePoint. Yep. And that's what you see coming through with Teams. Good stuff. And you'll be at Ignite in a couple of weeks? Be at Ignite, four sessions to do at Ignite, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to the technology exhibition, which is always pretty good because you see a lot of people, a lot of contacts to be made there. And then, of course, there might be a few beverages to be had with people just to make sure the Got personal to, connections Got to keep the network up. Got right? to keep the network that's up. That's important. Yeah, that's right. And I heard on the grapevine there might be a few books being given away at Ignite. Yeah, well, we have this, this Office 365 for IT Pros book, and Microsoft has been kind enough to sponsor uh, a good bunch. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to take it to take it away from Microsoft, but what I'll say is that if you go to sessions, to exchange sessions in particular, uh -huh and you stay until the final moment, the last slide, there might just be a code on that last slide that helps you get a free copy. Yeah, so there you go. So there's a tip for everybody hitting Ignite. Uh, Tony, thanks for talking at our event. And no uh, worries. See you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. See you in uh, sunny Orlando. Cheers.